Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have something a little bit different. I just wanted to do a video on some of the products that I love and why I love them. And it's pretty much geared for oily, oily, and I guess I'd say like textured skin. Because as some of you guys, some of you guys know, I do have rosacea, so I always like to use like super full coverage and like smoothing products. So yeah, if you guys want to see like some of the stuff I use, just keep on watching. Alright, so for one of the first products that I like super recommend are some of the face primers I use. The first one I'm going to show you, it's a, this is Becca's Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. And this is what it looks like. This stuff is so good. This stuff like, it's like glue. If you've ever tried this, like you know what I'm talking about. Like you put this and it feels almost sticky. Like it feels literally like glue. But when you blend it out, it's like so smooth and like this will hold your foundation like all day. Trust me. And then another favorite is Tarte's Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. This is what it looks like. And this one, this one is so good. Like this one just, it will smooth out all your pores. Like this stuff is bomb. Like, so these are like pretty much, those two are like my top two pri like face primers. And then since I didn't want to do everything high end, I kind of wanted to show like an alternative to some of these products because let's be realistic, like not everybody can afford, you know, to spend or like justify 50 to $60 on just one thing. So I wanted to show some like drugstore products, like stuff that people can actually afford too. And if you can, I mean like good for you. But this one, the, the more affordable one, is this Sephora. It's a eight hour mattifying moisturizer sunscreen. This is what it looks like. And this one's actually really good. Like I really like this one. It's kind of like, it comes out like pretty much like a lotion, like that. But it leaves your face like super matte, super smooth. Like this is really good. And it's also, it has an SPF of 20. So in the summer, this stuff is bomb. Okay, and then for eyeshadow primers, my favorite like holy grail one would be Smashbox 24 hour photo finish primer. And that's what it looks like. Unfortunately, I don't have a drugstore like alternative to this, but you can always use like a concealer and it will work like just as well. As long as you set it, like it will work good. And for concealers, like I can't like everybody pretty much loves this one like I can't lie like this has been like the bomb it's Tarte's shape tape and if you have like a skin tone color like similar to me I use mine in the shade fair I like mine pretty bright and then for like a drugstore concealer I really love the LA girl pro concealer these ones are like they're super good they're super cheap they're like I don't know, like $3.99 or something. Like you can even find these at CVS now. And I use mine in the shade Natural. That one's like super good. And then for the Tarte, this one, I I, don't, I wouldn't say that it's just for oily skin because I know people who have dry skin and they use this too and they love it. This is just more, it's like full coverage. All right, and then for foundations, okay. So I have like, I had to like narrow it down to like, my three top favorite foundations. It was kind of hard, I have a lot of them. So the first one that's like my favorite, like I'm wearing it today, like my super, like holy grail, like I always have backups, like I always go through this one, is the, it's the Stila Stay All Day Foundation and Concealer. And this is what it looks like. I use mine in the shade Light. And like the good thing about this one, well now it even comes with the concealer, but um, I don't know, this one is just like, it always leaves my skin super smooth. It's full coverage, like it stays all day. I don't ever get like really oily with this one. Like I just love this one. I don't know, like I always use this for events, but this stuff is bomb. If you haven't tried it, I'm like, try it. And then my other, like my other two, the second one I have is Becca's Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream. This is what it looks like. And this one, I use this one in the shade Buttercup. And this foundation is so good. Like, this one, this one's super full coverage. 
and this one will just leave like I don't even know like this one leaves your face so smooth this one's also really great for events like these are the two I always use like if I know I have a, like an important event it's one of these like no matter what and then for my last like favorite favorite for uh, high end is Urban Decay's All Nighter Foundation you can even see this one's gone like that's how much I love it and this one I use mine in the shade 4.0 but yeah, this one's like pretty much like how it claims waterproof, long wear, liquid foundation. This one, super full coverage, and literally like this one doesn't move. Like this one, the only downfall I would say for this one, sometimes like if you eat or if you drink something, sometimes like well for me it'll break up like around the chin area. But other than that, like you can kind of touch that up. This one is like so good. I love it. And then for a drugstore foundation that I love like if I don't use one of those it would be the LA girl pro coverage high definition foundation this is what it looks like and if you look at it it almost looks just like the makeup forever foundation but this one's like really good I use mine in the shade fair that's what it looks like and this one yeah like for drugstore this one's actually really good like this one's super full coverage it leaves my skin smooth this one I do sometimes get oily, but I mean, you can't go wrong for something that's like, I don't know, I want to say like 6 or $7, but it comes like, old, uh, CVS carries it now too, and I think Ulta. So yeah, this one's really good. You guys should definitely try this one if you guys don't want to spend like, you know, heck of money on those foundations. And then for powders that I've been loving to set my face have been, um... Well, pretty much for high-end, I've been using the Kat Von D's Translucent Powder. This is what it looks like. And I really like this one because it's actually, like, if you can see it, it's kind of like a, like a yellow tint to it. But this one's really good. I love this one. This one, I wouldn't say it's a super mattifying powder. Like, this one... I don't know it's weird like it's it's kind of matte but it's also like you can see your natural oils through. like it looks really good I don't know this one's just amazing I love it I recommend that one and then for drugstore like if you want something a little bit cheaper I like super highly recommend the Maybelline fit me powder the loose one this one is so good like sometimes I'll mix this with like the Kat Von D or Laura Mercier powder and this one is just like bomb and I use mine in the shade fair light that one's so good and then um for i picked two like compact face powders like for people who do like to set their face with the powder um for high end i love this one this is the urban decay uh, naked skin ultra definition powder foundation and this is what it looks like and i use mine in the shade fair cool and that's what it looks like this one's really good this one just I normally use it like on the bottom area of my face just to set to make it really full coverage down here because I do get a lot of redness and um, like I have a little bit of texture here but this powder just like covers all of it it's so good and then for drugstore powder foundations I really love this one it's also by LA girl this is the pro face high definition matte press powder and this is what it looks like this one's really good. I use this one. What shade is this? This one's creamy natural. And this is what it looks like. And this one's actually really good. Like this one leaves your face super smooth and it's pretty like it's pretty full coverage, I'd say. That one's really good. I love it. And then for like contours, powders, I've been like just hooked on this one. This one's the Tarte. It's called Hotel Eris. And this one's just like, I don't know, it's just like a really pretty shade. And this one just, you know, if you guys have used Tarte, like, shadows or powders or anything, like, they're super smooth, super soft. Love them. And they smell, they smell hella good. <laughs> and then for a drugstore bronzer, I've tried a bunch of them, but I feel like I always go to this one. It's actually, it's actually a pressed powder. It's not even, like, a bronzer. It's by Wet n Wild. I know it looks kind of beat up, but this one's really good. And this one's in the shade, what shade is it? I don't know what shade this is, but I think it's like their darkest foundation shade. And this is what it looks like. 
this one's super pretty and this one's actually like a really like fine powder like this one works really good I think yeah this is what I'm wearing today this one's pretty well I have a mix with the blush but really good totally recommend this one and then moving on to highlights for high end I really love um, Becca's champagne pop highlighter this is what it looks like this is the shade super pretty and I think this one like it just looks amazing like even on all different kinds of skin tones this one's just like really pretty it's not the one I'm wearing today but this one's really good I recommend this one because if, if you have texture on your face you don't want a powder that's gonna like emphasize it more you want something that's just gonna go over smoothly and blend out easily and this one I think is perfect for that this one's really good and for drugstore, I would recommend Wet n Wild's Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. This one's in the shade Precious Petals. This is what it looks like. And this color is so pretty. Like, it's almost like a, like a rose gold. Like, it's just super pretty. And for drugstore, like, this one is bomb. Like, you just set your face and put this, and it just looks so pretty. Like, and this one also for any other skin tone, like, it almost looks like Champagne Pop a little bit. And then for setting your face, for the last item that I have right here, I kind of just wanted to do Strictly Face products. Um, for setting your face, for high end, I mean you can go wrong with Fix Plus, like you can see I'm out of it pretty much. Um, but uh, Max Prep and, Prime, Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray to set your face is always like super bomb, like you can't ever go wrong with this one. But I mean like, if you don't want to spend like 30 plus dollars on a spray, you can go to Ulta and get like, if you guys have seen my videos, I use this like all the time. You can get Mario Badescu's skincare um, rose water spray and set your face with this one. This one is so good. Like, I don't know how much this one is, but I know it's not like $30. I want to say it's like maybe between 15 to $20, but I mean this versus this you get more and it's cheaper so I mean, you can't go wrong and this one I always pick this one over that anyway so yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed the video I kind of just want to do something kind of quick and just go over some of the stuff I love because I get a lot of friends like asking like what do you use like what's good for this what's good for that and um, these products are just like they're just what I love and what works for my skin and I have oily skin um, I have like a little bit of texture because I do have rosacea and so yeah, these are things that like help me, that I've noticed that make my skin look really good. And not only just because they're drug, like drugstore or high end, like it's, like I always tell everybody like, it's not what you use, it's how you use it. And like, I really like, I swear by that. As long as you take care of your skin and you know, you know what you're doing, like you look good no matter what. <laughs> All right, so if you guys wanna see more videos like this, give me a thumbs up or let me know what you guys wanna see. If you guys want to see a tutorial on this makeup look I did today, let me know. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.